Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit, I hope you're doing oh so well. My name's Leela, I reside in London, UK and if you'd like to in the comment section below let me know where you reside, I'm always intrigued, always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. I am also a Virgo, for this particular reading my dear Virgos I'm going to do a Celtic cross, it is going to talk about you right now, any challenges that you may have your conscious goals, your subconscious unknown influence at this time, past influences, approaching influences, how others see you, your hopes and fears, and the outcome. I've also pulled a couple oracle cards, and I hope you had a fantastic weekend this Motivational Monday, okay? Keep your energy high, vibrations high. We're only human at the end of the day, of course, but we must remain positive. So... Let's jump straight into this. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you find the reading resonates with you in any way whatsoever. I really do appreciate it. Three of Swords in the reverse position, okay? Some sort of heartbreak that I think maybe a lot of Virgos are either going through or have gone through or holding on to, okay? Because we can always find inspiration again when we have the Three of Swords in reverse, despite any sadness despite being stuck or feeling stuck there's healing that is going on that still needs to be done okay in whatever area of your life that may sit fit that may fit for you <laughs> okay but um yeah sometimes it's hard for us you know and um we can be sad stuck in our sadness but there's always opportunities to become stronger and more resilient and to give ourselves time to heal and know that we thrive through love and inspiration can be found again okay so for the challenge or the blockage we have the nine of pentacles okay now for me i feel like a lot of us may feel kind of alone Despite doing all right in life at times, you know, knowing that money is not everything, money is not uh, be all, end all, you know, you know that uh, you want more, you want that sense of security, okay? I feel like uh, the challenge here for a lot of you is to realize that you've made a lot of achievements, personal achievements in your life right now. You have met a lot of milestones and you need to remind yourself, continue to remind yourself of actually how far you've come. It's important for you to stay contented, positive, to remind yourself of all the success all that needs to be celebrated because there's so much to be celebrated. You have achieved a lot spiritually, materially. You need to remember that inner peace, keeping that inner peace that you so value so very much over sadness. You don't want to be stuck in dark. Nobody wants to be sad. No one, no one wants to be stuck in sadness, right? So... What I really like about this reading is the devil card that you have here. Consciously, Virgo, in the reverse position, you want to release from addictions, a way of living. You want to break the chains, baby. And sometimes we feel helpless because we don't know which way to turn or what's coming towards us. Sometimes we don't want to see negative parts that we've played in circumstances that we've put ourselves in or have been in. A lot of us don't want to give away our power. What it is that we have achieved. So consciously, I see you guys wanting to break away from shit that doesn't serve you, whether it be temptation, addictions, it's the healthy versus the unhealthy. And a lot of you are wanting to break away from what is unhealthy, what is not good for you, all right? Now, subconsciously, what we've got going on here is some sort of maybe miscommunications in your subconscious. 
you know, relationships may struggle in some area of your life. Some of you subconsciously, you don't feel worthy of love. You don't feel good enough. Or maybe you've taught yourself over the years that, you know, I'm not good enough. No one's ever going to love me. Things are not going to turn out the way that I've always anticipated. There is harmony here for the taking. However, I think uh, a lot of Virgos need to be more kind to themselves. Okay. Now, past energy, right? We have the, the Page of Cups. And that talks about something unexpected. Talks about maybe an apology in the recent past. It talks about your heart being open, maybe newfound emotions for somebody or something recently. And that can bring to surface other energies that you, or other feelings that you didn't know you had, right? And that makes you feel maybe, that makes you forget the importance because there's, recent magic here there's recent love here there's something nice here the bubbling energy of love but uh when you get stuck in this sadness you can get caught up in the drama of your mind of others you can become disconnected from your feelings disassociate yourself you can forget the importance of the simple things the good things So there's something here about going through the emotions, Virgo. Now, with regards to your talents and your inner resources, this is where we notch it up a bit now. The gear goes up a bit higher because you, my dear, are a very thoughtful type of person. You are very much intelligent. You are all about the facts and you communicate very well. You're very direct and you're always seeking truth. You're wise, you're honest, you use your integrity and you speak with clarity and wisdom. And that in itself is a vital skill to have in life, putting it in the atmosphere, the, the universe, in conversation. Not everybody can talk you know, you're highly intelligent and your communication skills are off the chart. So use that talent, use that inner resources. Speak to yourself kindly, right? Now, how others see you, you have your card that's come up, which is the Queen of Pentacles. You are seen as a healer. You are seen as someone that is very family orientated, community orientated. People see you as kind, grounded, down to earth, generous. Maybe you're a parent and you work also. You got it all going on. Wealth, abundance, very beautiful nurturing energy. And that's how others see you. But do you see yourself like that? Do you sometimes you forget how lovely you are? Now, let's go to hopes and fears. Now we have the two of wands. Now you hope to plan your future. You hope to make pro progress. And you hope to be activated into a high frequency. You hope to take the opportunities coming forward to you and the possibilities and you hope to make that choice of stepping outside your comfort zone for new adventures, new chapters. Because the world is full of opportunities, Virgo. The world is full of adventure. And it's time to make a plan. Now, for the outcome. I don't know if anyone's worked it out yet already. But we have the best card of all, and that is the world card. And that is completion, Virgo. That is joy, Virgo. That is abundance, success, 
This is new levels of consciousness and awareness. Some of you, this is literally traveling the world. But uh, it's, it's becoming whole again with love, with life. Personal achievements, happy endings that you are deserving of. And as you reach this stage of your fruition, remain focused. Look at the, the longevity of your journey. Happy endings and positive energy is coming your way and it's there for the take in. So embrace that, you know, take it for what it is, achieve it, believe it. So I got you a couple of oracle messages here. Sundress, you got do it for you, Virgo. And it says, when it comes to healing and recovery, make sure you're doing it for yourself, Virgo, not for somebody else. Becoming too dependent on other people will only end in disappointment. People leave, friends drift. Family members become estranged. Your reasons need to be bigger than them. And believe it or not, you are important enough to be that reason. Wow, what a beautiful message. Whew. And the number four and one adds to five, which signifies change. Homeward, take yourself out on a date. And it says, Virgo. Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home, and enjoy your own company. And I, I really like the, the bit there where it says... Uh, Uh, I'm going to read it again. Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. This is the bit I like. It's in those solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Wow. This is nice. I really like the message here. So, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed that message here. I think if anything, uh, for me as a Virgo, what I'll take away from this reading is to definitely remain positive and, and to continue to heal and embrace the process that that is life, right? Going through the process. So um, you are a badass, male or female. You are loved. You are valued. If by anybody by me, you know, if anyone understands you, it's, it's gifted. <laughs> so my lovelies, without further ado, I'm going to do a love reading after this. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you found that the reading was insightful or resonated with you in any way. You can book me for a personal reading. You can catch me for live tarot and you can also follow me on the socials. Uh, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo. All right. And without further ado, I am out of here and I'll catch you on the rebound. Take care.